And now we're at my favorite part of the program, my auspicious op-ed. So I composed some words for everyone and they meant something to me. I hope they mean something to you. And I hope that you're inspired to do something similar because we need a lot more of the sharing and caring going on in the world today. So here's some words for y'all. The end of history, hidden history and alternative history are all terms that have been picked up in, uh, that have picked up in popularity in recent years. It is not just a mere coincidence that uh, simultaneously the terms, the Great Awakening, the Great Reset, and the Great Taking uh, began making uh, ground throughout the minds and consciousness of those who began waking and stirring from some default state of societally encouraged and induced slumber. If you've heard of Pangea, Agartha, Lemuria, or Atlantis and think they are fantasy, mythological, or literary terms and not past worlds and civilizations, uh, their campaign of deception and control was a success. If you accept it that leaders, experts, and institutions are the best arbitrators of public and individual rights and needs because it is the only path smiled upon by the education system and the authorities, then they have most certainly succeeded in gaslighting, self-censorship, repression, and manufactured consent all in one fell swoop for the entire public. These globalists have wanted to put an end to history because they have been systematically trying to capture, constrain, and extinguish any materials that prove to be an obstacle to imposing their will onto the masses. Many sects, organizations, and enterprises are in the positions of power that they are solely because they have plagiarized, falsified, and censored, if not outright destroyed, the most fundamental truths innate to mankind by way of one's own intuition and authentic connection with the world, its inhabitants, and a spirit world, they are all too eager to deny while serving the dark forces with a chilling vigor and zeal for all things anti-human. These ancient bloodlines of ruthless, bloodthirsty conquerors has traversed and seeded the world many times over since the Ice Age. And truly, not much has changed, according to the mainstream narrative. I am producing this piece for you all to bring awareness to everyone that this controlling the narrative business has cost us so much more than valuable knowledge, abilities, understandings, and autonomy alone. It's overshadowed the biggest race relations matter that stems back into ancient times since this ancient group keeps trying to hide the ages old battle of the only two races on earth that hybridized during the early biblical period and beforehand composing of good and evil. Good is clearly manifested by being more human in behavior and disposition, which is ideally to manifest in being more godly, Christ-like, or godlike. While evil relates to the hybridized offspring of angels, known as the Watchers, Fallen Angels, Demon and Demonic Entities, all of which are also known as aliens, extraterrestrials, and supernatural beings that are reproduced with um, human females that birth the Nephilim, um, a well-known group of uh, giants. <laughs> that are um, in the Bible and many other um, ancient texts and all those Tatarian buildings remains we see the um, remnants of. So evidence of these uh, civilizations remain despite many groups' attempts at destroying every form of evidence, questioning, and a uh, dissenter that stands to prove some valuable points. That's just what they do to protect themselves. It's not because they have any honor. The reason I am going into all of this is because even I acknowledge nearly everything that has been taught for the past few centuries at a bare minimum is more than just is a, more than just a mere satanic deception. It is the phenomenon known as Satan's little season that occurs after the millennial reign that left behind all of those gorgeous Tatarian buildings that they uh, keep torching into oblivion. Well-guarded books of uh, ancient sacred uh, knowledge 
and hidden decommissioned technologies that made that um that past society far more advanced than our currently degrading devolving civilization cluelessly falling into willful ignorance numbness and apathy isn't seven to eight thousand years of progressive conquest control and tyranny enough for everyone already Perhaps it is time to remind everyone who wants to replace us with the machines and AI that we none were uh, put on earth to be anyone's servant or master and their adamant desire to replace God with money, power, and prestige should have been a red flag that they are all quite literally manifestations and incarnations of Satan, demonic spirits fallen angels and everything that you should not desire to follow or aspire to be or to be a part of just want to put that out there and leave it out there because they have no game whatsoever if we refuse to play along with their game uh we also have god on our side and in the reasonably near future the good lord is uh going to see their hand and raise them much more than 20. Look around you. Check out that. Uh, check out those. Uh, what happened on Earth? Uh, videos and World of Signs and all of that because it drives it home. And that brings us to the end of our show today.